Great. Hello, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Jessica. I go by Jessie or Jess or on TikTok, I go by Hanging with Jessie. And I do, on TT, I do tarot reads, I do dance videos, I do beauty videos. I do all kinds of videos because I love that app just as much as I love the YouTube community. And I am trying to get in touch with more of you guys. So my goal is to build this channel. So let's see what the cards have to say for me today. And today is Tuesday, guys. Today is Tuesday. I'm off today, so I'm doing a bunch of content videos, cleaning up the house. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see. All right. I'm, I did three cards for you guys on the tarot deck for the villains deck, but I think I'm only gonna do one card on this one. And then I'll do cards on the Moonology and the Chakra deck. I love using the Chakra deck and the Moonology deck more um, because I feel like they're more good with uh, advice and clarification of what I'm asking for. So we shall see. And if my reading resonates to you guys, cool. If it doesn't, then whatever. You're just watching, watching along. Um, all of my readings are just for fun. Um, I just, I like talking through with my spirit deck and the guides. So we shall see. We shall see what my reading says. Do I want to cut the deck or do, yes, I do want to cut the deck. So I'm going to get the card from the middle. Do a little tap, tap, tap. All right. So I got the Knight of Swords. Very interesting. Um, I don't remember what he's from, to be honest. So if any of y'all know, let me know. Oh, look, I got two. Didn't even realize I had two. Of course I got Gaston. He's the Knight of Cups in the deck. He's the most narcissistic Disney character I've ever met in my life. Like, I think that's what they were envisioning with somebody for him. Just my Disney theory, food for thought. Um, and this guy looks more relaxed. This guy looks like egotistical, butthole. Yeah, this guy looks nice. Okay, let's, let's see what these two cards mean. And they're both um, upright, so that's good. Here's my little handy dandy guidebook because I don't know all of the meanings. Okay, I'm looking for Knight of Swords first. Of course, he's all the way in the back. Okay, so he's talking about um, willing to risk it all in active pursuit of their goal. See? My goals, guys. Oh, look, I'm wearing Baby Yoda pants today. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you want it? Uh, Disney World, just saying. My friend got them for me for my birthday, uh, which is on Christmas. So last Christmas, she got them, aka in 2021. Okay, so though illegal poaching lands Percival McLeach on wanted posters, he remains determined to add the rare golden cage Marahoot to his collection of endangered animals. It is a sign that it is time to be bold. Act now before your opportunity flies. Get it? Flies away. Away. Okay. Um, and Gaston, Knight of Cups. As much as I harp on Gaston, I do like his character he's kind of annoying and rambunctious and egotistical but i get why they made him that way it reminds me of that song gosh it does or gosh it hurts me to see you something i don't even remember the words oh my god and i've seen beauty and the beast so many times he's like talking about looking so down in the dumps every Guy wants to be you, Gaston, even when taking your lumps. There's no man in quite town like you. You're everyone's favorite guy. 
Gosh, it hurts me to see you, Gaston, and it's not very hard to see why. <laughs> see, get it down in the dumps. It knows I'm depressed. Ha <laughs> ha. I hide it very well. Just saying. It's like, I'm not depressed right now. I'm, uh, I'm actually in a good mood today. Um, where is this? Here we go. And he's revert or no, he's upright. Okay. Represents someone charming, handsome, and strong like Gaston, right? This tarot card symbolizes the ideal suitor ready to sweep you off your feet. Is it time to strike up the hand band? I said hand. Wow. I can't talk today. I'm sorry. The band and celebrate, or are you longing for something else? This tarot card advises you to follow your heart. See, that's not what I was expecting from that. Okay, let's let's go to the shocker deck. Let, let's see what, what I need to do with this. Follow my heart. My heart? Mm. My heart likes to send me into downward spiral. <laughs> Create. <laughs> I'm just saying, sometimes... My uh, my choices of what I do in my life, ah, they fell. Where did they go? Oh, it's only one. <laughs> Look, isolation. I got isolation again. It's telling me something. I mean, I am isolated right now. I'm home alone right now, per se. Isolated with what? My thoughts, my feelings creating something. I mean, I'm creating videos for y'all. This one wants to fall out. I got renewal too. It's a really pretty card. So it's telling me I need to create something good, not isolate and renew myself. I don't know how to renew myself. So if y'all have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe, like, and share my video, please. And thank you. Give me some more clarifications from this. This one wants to fall out. Ooh, I'm gonna get a miracle. This one's like, it kind of reminds me of Van Gogh, the way that it's painted. It doesn't wanna focus. I'm sorry. Um, if y'all could see it. This one wants to fall and this one wanted to fall. Okay, I got facade as well. So it's telling me to get through my roadblock, take my journey, uh, have a miracle happen, renew myself. Also, completion. Um, this one doesn't really look like, um, it's not like a bad thing. It's like completing a cycle. So you see the person mourning um, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's me completing something in my life and somebody holding me. And you know what's kind of strange? The lady in the sky looks like her. Or am I just losing my mind right now? Like, it really does. It's like, it's getting through a phase in my life to get to something new. That's just what I think. Okay, do I need any more? Do you need to tell me something else? Well, I'm not getting the ones on the table, but I'll get the ones on the floor because those are the ones that needed to fall out. Impasse. Getting through a roadblock. See, taking that path. And then this one's mysticism. This is supernatural. Ooh, I do know that. Something with the supernatural.
Okay, mysticism says, a woman named Aubergine, you are not to know. The legend. A woman named Aubergine calls on the telephone to confirm that she will be with us tonight. Yet no woman named Aubergine has been invited. Of the four invited, two are wed and two are unknown to each other. A woman and a man. Surely, if this is the mysterious woman were the guest of the man, she would have made it known. A woman approaches the woman named Aubergine, the woman who will be with us tonight. It is wise to be the observer. Do not respond until you are certain. The unknown is not easy, but is no longer necessary to fear. So it's saying, am I ignoring my intuition? What I suspect is probably true and I must breathe. So it's telling me uh, for key ideas and keywords, ignoring signs, unknown motivation, intuitive knowing, fear of the unknown, and journey. Intuition, courage, uncharted. So talking about um, a path, definitely a path, and intuition. Um, yeah, I do have the fear of the unknown. However, it's telling me that I'm going on this journey to get through my roadblock to get to this renewal and completion. So it's telling me that with this miracle, it will help me, but I need to make sure that I have my head straight so I'm not isolated, um, deal with God and not play a facade and I will be a-okay. -A I'm just reiterating what I just literally said through every little card. So if you all have continued through all that, God bless you. <laughs> I'm just saying, God bless you. Let's see if my Moonology cards agree. It's crazy, though, because it's talking about, um, like, I interpreted, like, not Gaston being, like, as, like, a relationship type thing. But I talked about, like, this dude in this little uh, cart thing going on a journey. And then you see Gaston. So it's like, I don't know. I'm going through my own journey, I guess. Not more so a relationship. This is this is the kind of reading that I'm feeling. Okay, let's see if this agrees. Prosperity lies ahead. Kind of makes sense. Okay, two more. Show the world the real you. Yep, showing them the real me right now. I'm going through my journey. And it's saying that my hard work is paying off. Well, it will once y'all uh, hit that subscribe button. So I'm trying to revamp my life, create more good content, and get a better fashion sense, I guess, because I found some like websites that I've like looked at before in the past, and I'm like, ooh, that looks cool. So maybe one day. One day I will get something from Doll's Kill. I'm speaking this into existence right now. And Shein, I think that's how you say it. Shein, Shein, Shein. And maybe pretty little things, depending on if I find anything on, on their website that I like. Because it all throughout high school, I always wore makeup every day. And it's kind of a shock that I didn't go on that route with uh, beauty content all the time. But I feel like I'm more laid back, calm and reserved. Um, and I, I like to do tarot readings. I like the supernatural. I like horror. I like, I do like makeup, but I'm not as consistent with makeup as I want to be. So like, once I get back into the groove of that, I feel like then I can start putting more makeup content on my uh, TikTok channel. I think I'll do that on TikTok. Like the transitions that are cool and stuff. Because... I sometimes go through phases and I'm like, do I really want to do that? And then I'm like, I'm 31 years old, which I'm, I'm kind of old for, for a lot of the generation that I see getting rich off of these, uh, social media pages, but I feel like it can be done. Not feel like it will be done. It's just going to take me time. And I like to play video games too. So that's another little key fact about me. If you all have made it this far. Um, and I also love Disney. So if you want to talk to me about Disney. And Disney conspiracies. And their music. Their song. Like duh. Music and songs. And their their movies and stuff. And the shows that they had back in the day. And 
anything Disney related, I will, I'll be your girl because duh, I have Stitch. He's one of my favorite characters. Um, I guess he's blue and he's awesome, but I feel like I'm rambling on. Okay, let's go. Let's get another card. Okay. Expect powerful change. This is a new card for me, guys. Um, I've never had this card. It's new moon and eclipse. So I'm going to read this one really quick on camera because I've never had this one. And this one's kind of really interesting. So, um, 94. That would be interesting if I actually, uh, get through to y'all on here because I'm trying. Your girl is trying. Okay. This is a card of beginnings and there are powerful energies at work. But be prepared. It could be quite a ride and events now could even be jarring and uncomfortable. However, any new directions you will take almost always lead somewhere better than where you were at the moment. Whatever is happening now is happening for a reason and you'll appreciate it later on. So it's telling me to... Never mind the past. Life evolves every single day. A th yes, yes, a thousand times yes. So that's additional meanings. I'm going to read the other ones. You're being shunted towards your life purpose. Shunted. That's an interesting word, guys. Whatever is happening now is happening for your highest good. This is an important turning point in your life. Hmm. The goddess or spirit to turn you instead... To face the direction you actually need to go. Hmm. Positive turnarounds. I like this card. I like it a lot. Let's see if uh, I need another card. I know I have like a 17 minute video going already for you guys. So bear with me for another second. This will be my last card. Give me my last card, please. Give me my last card. Give me my last card. Come on, spirit. I know you want to come out. It's this one. Hmm. Emotions are running high. And then look, it's got my favorite color, purple. So that's the super moon. What the heck that means? Emotions are running high. What the heck is the super moon? Super moon. I don't know what this one means either. I've never had this card either, so we're gonna read it together. Well, I read, you listen. <laughs> Ooh, success is close. I just must trust. I've never heard it said that way, but it's talking about trusting my success. Here we go. A resolution to your question is closer than you may think. Don't ignore the obvious. Something exciting lies ahead. Make sure you don't blow events out of proportion. Speak to the goddess and ask for assistance. Ooh. So it's telling me to take action for whatever um, opportunities come my way. So it says, if you're wondering how successful something is going to be, such as a job or a relationship, the answer is very to use common parlance, the answer to your question may well be that it's under your nose. This card is about being larger than life, being special and bursting out with energy that you can tune into and work with. You can expect plenty of good things with a positive outcome when the card comes up, but you may find there's a lot of emotion to deal with it too. That's fine. The moon is known as the queen of emotions, and if you draw the super moon card, Regardless of when you do this, you can expect your feelings to be more highly charged. Awesome. Yay. I love it. I love it. I say my little prayer for me. So, um, yeah, I, I'm very excited for this new beginning. I've been working my booty off, guys. My booty. All right. Bye.